Yeah. How you do, Bedward Tendall Tendo here again with Mike Underwood. Mike Underwood. And he's got all of the most amazing stuff for tarantulas. I don't know if you're specifically for tarantulas, but I love it for tarantulas. Anything that likes a, a plant and human tank. Okay. A plant and human tank. What was you saying about uh well ago about the well, more a lot human. of people a lot of people used to keep the dry desert tarantulas and some still do but now that there's an interest in these humid southeast asian tarantulas these planted stumps with the hides in them work well because the, you're gonna have a high humidity environment which the plants do well in you have the hides for the spiders if you've got a desert southwest spider there's not many options for plants other than succulents but when you start going with these humid, tropical wet tarantulas, that opens up the variety of plants and habitats you can have. And some of the, I'm not a spider people person, but some of the spider people are telling me, when they first started trying to breed these Vietnamese spiders and such, they said it's gotta be dark, dark, dark. What they discovered is it's perfectly good to have a light tank, they get on the light, but heavy plants that they can get back in the dark when they want. That's so they have the choice of hiding in the plants in the dark or coming out in the open. That seems to be the trick. To help breed them. More yeah, a little more diversity for them. So they want to be awesome. in the light, they can be in the light, but they need a heavily planted tank that's humid to get back in. I love breeding. that. I'm trying to transition to live plants. I'm going to seriously consider and so some of the I'm always things you have going for wood, here. you know, that has, you know, caves in it. Oh my. God. Because these caves. That is absolutely you amazing. Know, and then, or something like this. This can either stand upright or it can be laid down to make a cave and the plants just turn up. Okay. But I heat, all, I heat all my greenhouses with shipping pallets and scrap wood. Okay. And so this is selected from the huge amounts of wood that I burn for the greenhouses. I'll burn up, oh, pick up a okay. load of wood every day. I heat the greenhouses with scrap wood. So when I say my plants are green, they're green. It's they're shipping green. pallets okay. that would go to the landfill okay. and scrap from, from, from um, lumber processing companies that, one that, that heats all beautiful. my greenhouses. I make beehives and everything out of is this part of you too? Yes, this is me too. Then also, oh, watch this stuff. for, this, for the, 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 the tarantulas and such, when you, you want to have individual nursery jars, so they want humid for wow. spiders. So like here's a five unit. That is amazing. So for mantids and spiders, these work real well. Here's a 10 unit. Oh, you even, even got it for spiders listed. Yep. That's so lovely. spiders, mantids, the types of stuff that's going to eat each other, this makes a nice, here's a 10 nursery unit. So it works well for the spiders, but it looks attractive enough to put in your living room. Yes, it does. And you're not a spider guy. I'm not a spider guy. The only thing you're missing in your life is being a spider guy. You should and probably do it. And these bigger ones I use for isopods. These make good isopod breeding colonies. So I've got isopods too. We'll put your isopods in these. We'll put leaves and, and, and rotten wood, which I can also provide. And nice. these make great little colonies for that. In my greenhouses, I keep no spiders, no frogs, no nothing, because it has to be disease free. Okay. For instance, if you're a frog person and you buy cuttings of plants online from some other frog person, they take cuttings out of their frog tank and ship them to you. Right. I have a frog free greenhouse. Uh, that's there may wonderful. be some spiders in my greenhouse, but I can't help that. Do you have but an online store? No, I don't. You don't? So only in person. I, I, do, I do sell the individual terrarium plants on eBay. I don't sell this stuff online because they don't ship well. Okay. So the frog people, the, the, the spider people, they're happy that I don't keep spiders and frogs. So it's no yes, spider diseases, too. no frog diseases, no lizard diseases. Well, I seriously am digging this stuff. So right these here. work very well. Um, I really love I, that. I spoke to a woman at the beginning of the show. Wow. She bought one of these last year. I put zebra isopods in it, maculatum. Okay. And she says, they produce so many. She says, I'm pulling 50 out every month and selling them. Wow. That is awesome. And they're now, eating the rotting wood or stuff. And what, 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 there's no rotten wood in here at the moment, but I provide. I need to learn. I need to learn. Punky rotten wood for the isopods. This is maple, ready to go. Maple. This is bioactive, it's not been sterilized. You can sterilize it in the oven if you want. But I'm a firm believer, other than pest species coming in, the, the yeast, the mold, the bacteria, the virus, this is the soup that these animals swim in all of their lives. And it helps them with digestion and other things. It's, it's, it's a system these animals live in. Putting them in a sterile tub is like putting a person in a bubble. Yeah, that's like a mushroom on a tree. It helps the tree. Now, now, there is a risk of you bringing in an isopod species you don't want, like armadillo and vulgara, or the, the spiny corners or something. And I get that. I got vulgaris that have taken over several of my isopod tops. But 
That's one disadvantage, but the real advantage is all of the soup of life that is in this rotten wood of leaves is a benefit to that. Oh yeah. I, I was in the woods the other day in Florida and I dug out. It's amazing. In a stump. It was wood like that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Two and a half inches long, just white regular grub worms. And I was like, oh my god, it's just everywhere. And when you see those big grub worms, you know you've got good <laughs> Good wood that the millipedes and stuff will also like. Yeah. Okay. If you go out in the woods and you find a rotten log that looks really good and there's nothing in it, it's probably pine and it's no good. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Well, it's I'll tell you like one thing. Nuts. This has been an interesting uh, thing and I appreciate uh, you sharing with us. You um, are you going to watch this for a minute? I'm going to cover his table uh, and then I'm going to cut. The stuff doesn't, no, because they don't ship well online. Okay. Watch so, this real quick. To be blunt, get what you want today. Exactly. <laughs> Find a way to get it home with you. Because the giant, I sell the plants online. Info. He sells these plants online. It's absolutely amazing. Y'all can pause the video if it's coming through here. Y'all you know, like this kind of stuff. Here's the log I was thinking about for a close to the absolutely amazing. If you're an Illinois license plate driving a silver Ford Escape and your license plate reads Dawn, we need your car moved immediately or you may have a vendor's uh, trailer door coming down on it. An orange cone was moved. A trailer again. door was in the Illinois oh. license plate. Look at this. Please. Of a silver Ford Escape. Absolutely amazing. Personalized yeah, plate reading low. Dawn. You need to move your that car. That is something that's definitely on my Thank list you. in the future. In fact, I'm going to take one of his cards. There's the reptiles. Sorry I'm not bringing you the best of the log, but I don't have the best of camera. I'm just trying to cover as much beauty as I can in little pieces here and there, and then I have to charge my car. If you don't, you won't. You don't have to see it. You've got a billion mushroom spores on your body right now. Mushrooms are good and safe in a tarantula so aquarium. Saying, you don't need to see mushrooms. If you've got the proper wood substrate, you've got the proper humidity, the proper temperature, you'll get mushroom growth. Okay. You don't I'm need to see it with anything. I'm getting mushroom growth, and I'm wondering if it's uh, detrimental to the health of my frame. The only one you don't want is that slimy black one that spreads. Okay, I don't have that. i got white, big white form. Fine. Okay. And that's just All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Mushrooms are good. You heard it right here from an expert, people. Mushrooms are good for your environment. I mean, again, it's, it's a philosophy of you can try to be sterile, like in a hospital. Yes. And there's times to be sterile in a hospital. But in the real world, especially these detritivores, stuff that's living on the floor, they live in a soup of life, if you want to call them. Yes. Viruses, bacteria, mold, fungi, yeast, all of these things they've spent a million years with. Yep. And it, it gets in their system, it's for their digestion, it's for their health, it's for reproduction. All, I don't mean to sound real all new age weird here. Oh, I love it. But it, it's just, it's, it's the life that they're used to. Yep. Once again, All right, y'all heard it, people. Here, thank you so much. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to cut here, people. I hope y'all enjoyed this. This guy really knows his stuff, and I'm going to get some more videos to you guys shortly. Stay tuned.